Oh, this moisture will, I think, help gardeners enjoy the fruits of their labor. I knew that was coming. <laughs> now, contrary to what many of us around these parts might think, fruit growing isn't just something that happens in British Columbia. Alberta gardeners can flex their green thumbs with a few hardy fruits, plants, and trees. Here to fill us in, Kath Smythe of the Calgary Horticultural Society. Good Hello. Morning. Did you like Andy's joke? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't retorted. Oh. I was working on that. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, so this is true. Yes. I mean, a lot of people find planting, gardening here challenging yes. at the best of times. At the best of times. So yes. what do we need to know if we want to do some fruit planting? Well, you know, of course, everyone wants to grow strawberries. Yes. And they talk about strawberries all the time. So I always tell them, look for the ever-bearing strawberries. because ever okay. they So that they produce the whole season, so it's not disappointing. It isn't as big a fruit as the June-bearing, but it produces a small fruit. I am a real fan of raspberries, and I've always got a patch in whatever garden I'm in. And lately, they've come out with this one that's like eating candy. I'm mean, these, these, the picture they're here. They're yellow. Can touch the camera. They're yellow. But they're delicious. They are. And they bloom late, and they produce right into the frozen fall. Uh huh. And they're fabulous. And then one of the latest developments is out of the University of Saskatoon, and these are the sour cherries. And they have, yeah, and they're really cool. Look, so, this is, this, so these are actual cherries. Those are cherries and they are a smaller cherry. They're not as big a cherry as you buy out of BC but these Carmine Jewel and Romeo and Valentine they all produce a cherry. It's really really flavorful. Make great pies and jellies and if you're ever out south of the city at the Saskatoon farm they make a cherry mm -hmm. pie to mm. die for with this. Now, is there? Do you have to have a particular type of soil? What What are we talking about when it comes to maintenance? Well, you know, maintenance isn't the biggest factor. It, the factor is how rich is your soil, how much compost you've got in your soil, and then a little bit of pruning right after they finish flowering, and then again in early spring when you can see the skeleton. Because one of the things that fruit-bearing trees like is an open canopy. Okay. So the more open you can create the canopy, the better the fruit is and the bigger the fruit is. So you're always opening it up. And then the other trick with fruit bearing trees and shrubs is pollinators. Ah. There's a really popular new bush because everyone's talking about it because it looks like a blueberry is the hascap or right. honeyberry. Honeyberry. I've yes. Heard of that. Another development. It's from Siberia originally. They taste like a blueberry. They look like an elongated blueberry. But you have to have two varieties to get it to pollinate. Oh. But so they have to flower at the same time. <laughs> but they're the same cousin and in the same family as honeysuckles that grow wild here. And they're edible and they're delicious. And really and truly, the biggest stumbling block with people with fruit bearing trees is pollination. Right. So really and truly, it's getting enough pollen, pollinators in your garden to get it going. Okay, so that's something you really yes. need to do some research yes. on. Yes, research on it, do a little bit of looking into it. Alberta has some of the finest history of fruit-bearing trees here in Alberta. At Brooks, Alberta, we did some of the best apple tree growing in the province. Can you grow an apple tree here in the city? Of course you can. <laughs> of course you can. Well, you know that I don't know anything. So I ask you this from a well, anything with the, anything that ends in the word land are hardy and were bred here. There was a Mac apple, a Macintosh apple found growing in a garden in northern Calgary and now it's in commercial production across Canada. It's called a hardy mac and it's completely hardy here. Looks like a small version of a mac, matures later, delicious fruit, really great eating and a good keeper. And you have a workshop that's happening this weekend where people yes. can learn more about this. Yes, and it's at the Calgary Horticultural Society office. It's in conjunction with building a compost and we talk about what's going on in the garden at the society. And that will really help with yes. planting these kind and of And learning about pollinators and just general knowledge because there'll be lots of experts there. And how can people find you otherwise, Kat? At, oh gosh, at the Calgary. <laughs> just give us one option. We'll post it on our website. At the Calgary Horticultural <laughs> Society, calhort.org. Kat Smythe, this lady knows everything. Great to see you. Yes, you too.